The World Needs Beautiful Things by Leah Rachel Berkowitz, illustrated by Danielle Fabry. From the time he was a little boy, Bazalel loved to collect things. His eyes were drawn to shiny stones, colored strings, and even a bug if it had shiny, shimmering, green wings. Bazalel brought each treasure home to his beautiful things box. Bezala and the rest of the Israelites were slaves in Egypt. The taskmasters grew angry when Bezala dropped bricks into the mud to pick up a scaly piece of skin shed by a snake. Stop that, his friend shouted. You'll get us in trouble. Besides, you don't need all those stone strings and bug wings. Bezala just smiled. Each of these things is beautiful in its own way, and the world needs beautiful things. Bazal never stopped searching for beauty and color. When his life felt gray, he took out of his beautiful things box. He pressed smooth stones to his cheek and wrapped colorful strings around his fingers forgetting for a moment that he was a slave. One day, Bezalel heard amazing news. Pharaoh was allowing the slaves to go free, but they would have to leave Egypt immediately. The Israelites hurried to pack for their journey. Bezalel's parents begged him to leave the beautiful things box behind. We can only take what we can carry, said his father. And what we absolutely need, said his mother. You don't need all those stones, strings, and bug wings. But Bezalel insisted. Each of these things is beautiful in its own way. And the world needs beautiful things. Bezalel took his beautiful things box and walked with the Israelites to freedom. Bezalel saw many beautiful things as the Israelites left Egypt, the bright full moon lighting their path. Walls of water on either side of them as they crossed the Red Sea. Pillars of fire and cloud that guided them on their journey. These things were too big for the beautiful things box, so, so Bezalel, Bezalel tried to collect them in his mind. He also found many things that he could put in his beautiful things box. Stop grabbing things out of the sand, moaned his parents. You don't need more stones, strings, or bug wings. But Bezalel gripped his beautiful things box and kept walking. One day God called to Moses, the leader of the Israelites. I want you to build a Mishkan, a place for me to dwell when I visit the Israelites, God told Moses. It will be like a beautiful room in your house for a special guest. Moses was flustered. Where are we supposed to find what we need to build your house, God? We left Egypt with nothing, and we're in the middle of the desert. The Israelites can bring me gifts, God said. Gold, silver, copper, strings of blue, purple, and red, wood, oil, and spices. What if they don't have anything beautiful, Moses asked. Everyone can find something, God promised, if they know where to look. The Israelites surrounded Moses as he came down the mountain. What does God want? they asked. 
God wants us to build a house of beautiful things, said Moses. There was silence. How could they build a house for God with only what they had carried out of Egypt? God suggested string. Does anybody have string to help us get started? asked Moses doubtfully. I have string, said a small voice. Everyone turned to look as Bazal stepped forward, clutching his beautiful things box. I have red, blue, and purple. What color does God want? The Israelites' mouths hung open as Bazal spread his treasures on the ground. I remember seeing trees with white flowers on the other side of the mountain. Bazal added, their trunks might be good for building. I saw twisty olive trees, too. Then something strange happened. The Israelites began to see blossoms poking out of the prickly cacti and the twisty olive trees at the feet of forbidding mountains. They started their own beautiful things boxes and brought them to Bezalel. Moses ran to tell God, You were right. We found many beautiful things. God looked at Bezalel, who was arranging stones by color and shape. Bezalel, said God, you will design the Mishkan. Bezalel's heart pounded. Me? Yes, said God. You love beautiful things. You found them in Egypt. You found them in the desert. You will build my dwelling place because... I love beautiful things, too. So Bazal described the beautiful images he saw in his mind, and together he and the other Israelites sketched his plans in the sand. Then they started building with the materials they had collected, wood from the desert trees, Animal skins dyed bright colors and bits of metal from strings, from rings and belt buckles. And when the structure was complete, they wove tapestries, made lamps, crushed olives for oil, and mixed spices for incense. Bazal smiled at the finished Mishkan. This is the biggest beautiful box, things box I've ever, he said. Now every time God visits, there will be a beautiful place for God to dwell.